Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Now, we're going to be talking about a marriage... And we're going to be talking about family issues. And we're going to be talking about friendship today. Gorgeous manner of a house. I don't know if that's somebody's house or that's just a museum or some sort. Okay. But this is where Teresa and uh, I think his name is Luis. Luis got married at. The grounds were impeccable. The people were elaborate. And the wedding was grandeur. Okay, that's all I can say. Woo! But we're going to be talking about, like I said, three separate topics in this one video. And we see uh, Kenya and, what is her name? Chanel Ion. And we see um, Ashley Darby. Okay, and we got some more celebrities there. We got Dorinda. We've got Cynthia Bailey. We got uh, Phaedra Parks. So. <laughs> that's like a fight gonna uh be taken out but i don't think they would mess up um teresa's wedding but <laughs> phaedra parks and chanel i don't know i don't know but you see who phaedra was hanging out with dorinda and everybody else except for chanel all right I forgot that lady's name that's by lonnie love but lonnie love was a part of the nuptials as well don't know if she was there as a blogger or just there for, you know, argument's sake, a guest, okay? But they totally went all out. And I'm assuming this is like an Italian wedding uh, we had embarked on, all right? But I know Phaedra wished she was back with Apollo. I just had to throw that stuff in there because he's not, you know, what is he doing with that fiancé? She done been around for a long time, even after he got out of jail. So why aren't they still married? I'm thinking they may get back together. I would like them to get back together just for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know what Kenya was doing. Doing the butt. Doing the butt. Uh, uh, uh. Shake it, shake it. And nothing wrong. If you want to do the butt all night long. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can't have to show her ass out there, but okay. <laughs> Maybe she was feeling the uh, liquor they had gave her. Who knows, who knows, who knows. She did it all in good spirit, and she did it on the dance floor. So it is what it is. But Teresa must have added some hair to her head. God, it ain't that long. But anyway, if she did, that is okay with me. But Teresa's brother was not there, and her sister-in-law wasn't there, because they said she uh, want to tear up their marriage, and she wants them to come celebrate her marriage. I was like, oh, my goodness. Can we all just get along? Can we all just get along? At least for that one uh, day. For at least for that one day. But it don't seem like Teresa skipped the beat regardless. <laughs> she did not spit, uh, skip a beat. But we're going to go on into what People Magazine was saying about her nuptials to Luis. Um, who wrote this article? Emily Strong and Kelly w Wayne wrote it for us. And they titled it, Teresa Gudis and Louise Rielis are married inside the Real Housewives of New Jersey couple's romantic and starry wedding. The Real Housewives of New Jersey couple tied the knot on Saturday in a ceremony filmed for a Bravo special. And people has all the exclusive details from inside. Okay. So, uh, let me see. Uh, the Real Housewives of New Jersey couple tied the knot on Saturday in front of 220 guests at the Park Chateau Estate and Gardens in East Bromwick, New Jersey. Got his four daughters, Gia, 21, Gabriella, 17, Melania, um, 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 16, and Adriana, 12, whom she shares with her ex-husband, Joe, were all by their mom's side 
as was Realis's two sons, David and Nicholas, from previous previous relationships. Attending the black tie event also were a sea of Bravo talent, including um, co-stars Jennifer Aiden, Dolores Cantina, Margaret Joseph, and Jackie Gozen Snyder, or Gold Snyder. Plus, Real Housewives of Dubai breakout, Chanel Ayan, uh, Ayan, Real Housewives of Atlanta, or oh, I'm sorry, Real Housewives of Miami, Alexis Napolia, Real Housewives of Potomac, Ashley Darby, Real Housewives of New York, alums Dorinda Medley and Jill Zandrin, Zandrin, and past and present Real Housewives of Atlanta stars Kim Kenya Moore, Phaedra Paz, and Cynthia Bailey. The talk show host Lonnie Love, recently a guest on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, alongside Gudis, also made the cut. All right. And I'm wondering why Andy will. He should have been there. He should have been there. Okay. The event was filmed for a special set to air on Bravos, as people's previously reported. Missing from the big day were Goddess's brother and sister-in-law, Joe Garga and Melissa Garga, as well as New York alum, Dina Manzo, who was previously said to be a bridesmaid. Speaking of bridesmaids, the women included Katina, Aiden, and Gunas' four daughters wore various gowns in baby pink and held flowing white flowers. The groomsmen coordinated in dark suits. As for the bride and groom, they both looked dazzling in white. Gudis wore a long, strapless white mermaid gown with a sweetheart neckline, which she paired with white lace gloves on her head. And she wore, okay, well, was paired with white lace gloves. And on her head, she wore a crown made of diamonds that held her veil her highlighted locks and extensions flowing down her back okay realist kept it understated uh and a white blazer black pants and a classic black bow tie but well, men usually don't get all festive for the events they just don't want to be fussed over too much like the women i get it got a good moving on is this family was a big part of the outdoor ceremony uh Gudis walked down the aisle to violin players and ava Oh, and Ava Maria, a song chosen to honor her late parents. Each of the couple's kids joined them in the lightning of the ceremony unity candles, and the ceremony was officiated by Ruella's sister, Dr. Veronica Ruellis. I will love you for a million tomorrows, Gudis told her now, husband before their kiss. On okay. time. As for the decor, the fair featured gold accents, white linens, and lush floral arrangements, including two oversized hearts made of white flowers and tall cascading centerpieces. The pair had their first dance to Ruel's I Get to Love You, smoking covering the floor as they twirled around. Uh, guests later took took over the dance floor grew into a sea of hits like the way you make me feel this is how you do it this is how you do it i'm guessing that was martell song that they were talking about we found love uh gimme 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 a man after midnight and hot in here it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes i am getting so hot i'm gonna take my clothes off yeah okay got a little nelly up in there Performed by the wedding band, a group of uh, a group of professional dancers also put on performance for guests. Dancing at one point, a choreographer, number to diamonds are a girl's best friend, and for the Moulin Rouge film soundtrack, for food, a multi-course meal that included the biggest cowboy steaks Zadman ever seen, Shake Shack. A pizza truck and a candy truck provided tasty treats for late night snackers. Gudis 50 began dating Ruess in 47 in 2020 as a Ruess uh, asked for Goddess' phone number when they met organically and off camera. While the couple had been vocal about being a happy in wait a minute. While the couple have been vocal about being happy in their love bubble, the relationship has not been without its share of controversy. People in Goddess Life has also questioned the coupling, including her own daughter, Gia, who worried it was moving too quickly. Still, Goddess and Ruelas have been steadfast in insisting that love has carried them through every obstacle, and she told him on Instagram in June, I love you endlessly. Even at the Real Housewives of New York, star Ramona Singer, uh, Goddess castmate from the first season of Real Housewives of Ultimate Girls Trip accidentally shared essential details about the wedding date and social media. 
uh, on social media. The ceremony moved forward with some adjustments to their original plans. Okay. Last weekend, the Turning Tables author had a bridal shower attended by some of her closest housewife pals, including Darby, Cantina, Aiden, and rumored Real House of New Jersey newbie Danielle Cabrell and Caroline R Resso. Aiden 45 shared photos from the badge on social media, captioning her post loving or love celebrity. Oh, love celebrating your happiest moments with you at Teresa Goddess and Lou Risa chosen family. On Friday, friends and goddess Gudis and Rolales in a circle gathered for a rehearsal dinner at the Highland in West Orange. Okay, and it just keeps going on and on and on. It's just so long. And we might be getting bored. But we're going to get into the hot mess now. Because her brother. Meaning Teresa didn't have anybody. Uh, representing her from her side of her clan. Meaning her family. Only but her kids. Because her, I mean, cause her brother and sister-in-law. Said they can't attend. They can't attend. They can't attend. She don't respect our uh, marriage. I was not sure. Why should we respect her new wedding? Okay. They, uh, yeah. Let me see. Mm, it titled itself from People Magazine. We're getting it from People.com. Melissa Garga, Joe Garga skipped Teresa's goodest wedding after unforgivable betrayal, sources say. They're not going to celebrate Teresa's new marriage when all she does is try to tear apart theirs. A source tells people about the reason why Melissa Garga and Joe Garga didn't attend Goodis this big day. Oh, really now? Really? Oh, just, I'll just pull it out. All the negative stops. But we will press on and continue to read. Teresa and Louise's wedding on Saturday wasn't attended by her brother and sister-in-law, Joe and Melissa Gorga. Uh, the Gorga, due to a troubling blowout, the foursome had at the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 13 taping 13 days prior. Uh, people were previously Confirmed on Friday that the Gorgas wouldn't be attending Gudis's and Louise's nuptials, though questions as to just what happened remain up in the air. At the time, two sources now tell people exclusively what was behind their absence, explaining that Joe and Melissa had been planning and attending the wedding up until Thursday night when false rumors about their marriage surfaced as the cameras rolled. Teresa part in the matter. And Louise's behavior amid their back and forth ultimately changed the Gorgas' mind. Teresa betrayed them in a way that's unforgivable, one source revealed. They're not going to celebrate Teresa's new marriage. Well, all she does is try to tear apart theirs. It's telling that Teresa didn't have one relative at her wedding, notes the source, pointing to the absence of estranged cousins Kathy, uh, Wallachia, and Rosie Perry too. But that's the choice Teresa made. <laughs> Reps for the Gorgas as well as Gudas and Louise did not respond to people's requests for comment, but after or uh, but an another insider says that the Gorgas decision was driven by a desire to protect themselves from the ongoing attacks they've received from Gudas over the years. Viewers will see, but after the continued attacks it's clear the healthiest thing for Joe and Lester to do is walk away. The insider says they just want to find peace, especially for their three children. So Melissa and Joe's efforts to make a family priority with Teresa are exhausted. The insider adds, sometimes removing the toxic energy from your life is the only way forward. Yep, yeah, I tell you, I tell you, the Gorgas weren't the only ones who skipped uh, Gudis and Louise wedding. Her best friend, D Dina Manzo, was also absent. The former Real Housewives of New Jersey star once said to be a bridesmaid, and her husband, Dave Canteen, missing the big day. Rumors have been flying about a possible fallout between the two, others speculating that Manzo, who famously quit Real Housewives of New Jersey simply didn't want to be on camera. No official reason has been given as to their absence. But as the wedding bells chimed, the man so shared a cryptic post on Instagram about having the courage to know when to end things. Mm. Gudis and Luis tied the knot on Saturday in front of 220 guests at the Park Chateau Estate and Guards in East 
Brunswick, New Jersey. The event was filmed for a special set to air on Bravo. The reality stars four daughters, Gia, Gabriella, Milana, uh, Adriana, who she shares with her ex-husband, Joe Gudis, were all by their mom's uh, side, as was Louise, two sons, David and Nicholas, from his previous relationship. Okay, and then it just tells you all the celebrity stars that were there and that were a part of the franchise of the Real Housewives Network. Okay, but Andy wasn't there. Hmm, wasn't there and don't know why. But we go back to the article. It says, it's sad for me, Melissa told Teresa there. We have a lot of memories, even if we're not close. You remember who's been here through all the ish. For the last 20 years. Me. We have history. Me and you. And I love you very much. And I'm happy for you. But I think you should remember. What family is. <sighs> Joe is Teresa's only sibling. Throughout the years. On Real Housewives of New Jersey. Viewers have seen the ups and downs. Between Teresa and the Gorgas. Which began well before the Bravo cameras. Even started rolling. Who could forget Teresa's infamous retelling of her decision to throw Melissa's sparkle, sprinkle cookies in the garbage? Tension was at all-time high when Melissa and Joe joined the show in Season 3. The premiere capturing a huge brawl between Teresa and Joe as his son's 2010 christening, which started after he called his sister garbage. Joe blamed the issue on fame, changing his sister. Teresa later said she felt blindsided by Melissa's and Joe's casting on the show, claiming they never told her they were auditioning. The Gorgas have long denied that Melissa uh, sang in a recent tell-all, Not All Diamonds and Roses, that casting producers reached out to her with an inquiry, and she talked with Teresa about it before she ever even interviewed. It only got worse from there, escalating each season. The first year, Teresa accused Melissa of being a gold digger, only interested in her brother for money. The second, Melissa was accused of being a former stripper. And the third, cheating on Joe. Two sets of false rumors that Joe and Melissa alleged Teresa was behind. But, of course, Teresa denied being aware of either. As that all went down, Teresa had conflicts with Wakil, as well as sisters-in-law Caroline Manzo and Jacqueline Lurita, lamenting that Melissa and Joe sided against her. Joe Guidis also played a role in the family uh, problems. Joe Garga claiming his brother-in-law put a wedge between his relationship with his parents. That only added to problems between Teresa and Melissa, the two standing by their respective husbands as their disagreements. As the height of the troubles in season five, a physical fight broke out between the two men while at a family retreat meant to mend their relationship after Joe Garga caught his sister scum during a the therapy session. Please stop hurting us, Melissa famously pled to Teresa, who insisted that Melissa had turned her brother against him. Stick with your blood, Teresa told him. Child, child, child. It, it, it still keep going on and on and on. But I'm like, girl, let's stop the madness. My whole concern was y'all couldn't just be silver for that one day and so many hours. So, I mean, you could have just drunk yourself silly and just been present at the wedding. And then you could have just escaped among the many guests. Okay. But uh, tit for tat, tit for tat. That's a shame and a scandal. But I was just looking at all the celebrity uh, socialites that came out to play at her wedding, okay? And I didn't really see a picture or a talk uh, picture that went among Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. Now, they were in close proximity of taking some snapshots together, but I didn't see any love there. You know what I'm saying, guys? I ain't seen no love. So I'm like, are they still... Uh, what do you call it? Mad at each other? Are they still going at each other? And of course, we knew uh, Chanel was definitely not going to talk to Phaedra because she don't care nothing about Phaedra. She said she don't even know Phaedra, or Phaedra don't know enough to even comment on her. Yes, that's Chanel Ion. Okay, and Kenya loves her. She's over there taking pictures with her and uh, 
Chanel is bowing down to Kenya. It's funny. It was really funny. But I'm like, okay. However y'all get down, however y'all get down. But, uh, yes, Teresa has married Luis. And I guess they had an Italian wedding. Um, and she looked beautiful. Just gorgeous. But I'm like, uh, I think the white dress is a little bit over the top, baby girl. Because you were married before. And you do have four beautiful daughters. So, you it should have been like a off-white. Or, you you know, they, they have color weddings now. Your gown just don't have to be white. You know, we give it to the first time being married situation. Okay, you can go on and wear white. Well, that's, that's how I look at it in my mind. But then you can do something as fabulous as what Cynthia Bailey did when she wore that gorgeous gray ensemble of a wedding dress. It was so pretty. It was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I guess Teresa was like, shit, I ain't been married in a long time. It seemed like the very first time. <laughs> and she said, I'm going to get married in white. I don't care what nobody say. Okay, I look good in white. I'm going to be married in white. And that is what it's going to be. And, you know, if, if whoever don't want to get with me. Uh, uh, my particular dress I'm aware of dresses because you know it's not one big dress you have for the whole occasion people be having two and three okay <laughs> I don't know where they do that at and why but it is being done out there okay but that's all I have for this particular um, article in conversation piece I wanted to share with my family and once you get out in them comments y'all let me know was Teresa is she still going off on her brother telling lies on him from how he views it? Or is she just doing the best she can trying to uh, keep her little brother in check? Okay, while she uh, goes through life being a reality star or whatever you want to call it. Because right now she's uh, married and she's married to a very wealthy man. Okay, <laughs> so either or she wins. Okay, she even wins by default. But I don't understand what uh, 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 her, her brother is doing. What in the hell is he thinking about? Man, just go. Stop being an itch. And just go on to your sister's wedding and make it do what it do. But as we see, you didn't go because your feelings were hurt about whatever. Okay? But it is what it is. I will see y'all next video. And I hopefully y'all enjoy this one. Bye-bye.